Today's lesson is about a glide reflection. To perform a glide reflection, you need both an axis of reflection and a vector to slide your shape along. There are no fixed points in a glide reflection, and it is an improper rigid motion. Down here in the corner, there's an example of a glide reflection. Each little footprint is slid and then reflected across the axis of reflection. Let's perform the glide reflection on point P. First, you use the axis of reflection. Now, it doesn't really matter. You can do the vector first or the reflection first in either order for a glide reflection. But let's do the reflection first on this point. In order to do a reflection, you know that the reflection has to be perpendicular across the axis of reflection. So the slope on this axis is down 1 over 3, so it's negative 1 third. So I need a slope that is up 3 over 1. So this blue line is perpendicular to my purple line. So I need to reflect P across L right along that blue line. So this point I'm going to call an intermediate point. We'll call it P star. And that's the first step. It's not my final answer because that's just the reflection. Now we have to use the glide part and we need this vector that tells me how far to move that P star. And it looks like we move down 2 and over 6. And P prime is the image of P after using that glide reflection. This problem, you have to find both the axis of reflection and the vector, and then finish finding the image of the shape under that glide reflection. The way to do that, you need two points. You need two pairs of points, a P and a P prime, and Q and Q prime, in order to find the glide reflection. What you do is you connect P with P prime, and you connect Q with Q prime. And then you find the center of each of those segments. So the center between P and P prime is right here, and the center between Q and Q prime is right here. Your axis of reflection is going to connect those two centers. So there's the axis of reflection. Okay, now that you have your axis of reflection, you still have to find the vector. So what we're going to do is we're going to reflect P so that we can find where that intermediate point would be. Now the slope of my axis of reflection is 1, so it's up 1 over 1. So perpendicular to that axis of reflection would be down 1 over 1, or a negative 1. And so P is going to have to reflect across the axis of reflection, and it has to be the same distance away from the axis of reflection that P is. So P is three diagonal spaces away from that axis. So the intermediate step, P star, is going to land right there. Now we need to figure out the vector. The vector is going to slide P star along up here to P prime. So this will be the vector. It looks like the vector takes it kind of across four diagonals there. All right, we already know where Q prime is, and we've got our glide reflection defined. We've got the axis of reflection, and we've got the vector. So let's work on a few other points. 
Let's do this one first. So first reflect the blue dot across the axis of reflection. And then we need to use the vector, which is four diagonal spaces. So it's one, two, three, four. There's my blue dot. Now we'll do this green dot, which reflects across the axis of reflection, and then glides one, two, three, four spaces. Now this purple dot, it reflects across the axis of reflection and then glides one, two, three, four spaces. I think at this point we can draw our picture. And there is the image under the glide reflection.